Hello everybody and welcome to a video and today I will show you how to make mini calls which is basically a small call a very small call like this thing this thing is ugly I know um <coughs> this thing is small it sucks it's made to be bad so it's gonna be super slow holdable the only thing cool about it is this set so yeah and then here is so uh, but, but first of all here is my first one my first mini car that I made not a small engine and yeah and then here is the second one that I made so this is actually the second version of the second one that I made it's pop up headlights very cool. Oh yeah, and a radio, of course. So this thing is faster than the other one. It has a larger engine. See? Um. So yeah. And and then here is the last one that I made. So I made that one after I made that one. Here is the fast one, it's a rally car. Yes, it looks very weird because this looks like the front, this looks like the front right here, except this is the front. So it's very confusing, but that's how it is. And also, I made it like that because why not? I didn't need to do that, I could have just made some simple um steering but I don't care. I just want to have some nice steering. Cause it looks a lot nicer when it is like that than if it were to be uh, like than if it were to be like this. I don't like it when it's like this. Like, it doesn't look that bad with small wheels, except it doesn't look the greatest. And it also doesn't work with small cars. Like this one, the first version of this one had that the normal type of suspension, uh, steering, but it didn't work uh, here. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, here it is. Like, it does work, except look at that turning radius. It's nothing. It's so big. So, that's why. Like, the wheels can barely turn because of that suspension, because the wheels hit the sides. And that's not that great, as you might imagine. But it works, like it can go forward and backwards. And it also, this one does not have a, a detailed engine in it. This one is, but this one is the first one that I made. And also, this one is also the first one that I made, um, the first one in the in the series that I might put out, which is, um, which is, um, a, like, like cars that have engines. Okay, but yeah. So now I'm gonna show you how to well, make these small cars. There we go. Okay. So the first thing, okay, is you like if you're gonna make it with mods you would want to have the mod pack and you want to put and you want to have the racing seats because they are two blocks wide uh two blocks tall and they they and they are only one two three four five six not five five blocks long the seat the driver seat the other one is the passenger seat is <coughs> four blocks 
and if you want your car to be rear wheel drive, then and even if it isn't, the best thing, it, the nicest thing is to do like this. But then you have like a little side dashboard here, which where you can put um, buttons and stuff. And then you just build up like this. Um, and you build the side walls, and then any kind of doors you add afterwards, except if the door is like the hood, and like it's a large piece, just like oh yeah, and I also completely forgot about this thing. Just one, one. This thing is my first convertible um car, as you can see, and. If the hood is like this, then uh, you don't need to make it, um, uh, you shouldn't make the hood and then make it, uh, and then just detach it and put the bearing on it. You should, if it's a large hood like this that you want to make, then uh, you should just make it uh, from the start. Okay then, but then, so... Now you have your little sitting area, okay? Then uh, you make the uh, the seats, the um, and then you make the rear wall. Uh, the you can see you it depend you, like oh my god I can't talk. but um so you can choose how how much how how many blocks away the seat the wall is from the seats. So it can be like one block or yeah you choose but I'm gonna do uh, on this thing I'm gonna make it zero blocks just straight up against the seats and now we got our little cockpit here uh, and then we just do like that and then like that for like the little dashboard for the other person um, and yeah and then um, we go on to the front so, also, I forgot about something that, um, if you want to make it, like, I, re I recommend you take a, um, uh, why do I always forget words, um, uh, like a picture of another car, so that, or a picture of a small car, so that you can look at it and try to build it in the game, and, that's the most effective way, just like the like like this thing. This thing is based off of the Austin Healy Sprite Mark One, um, and this thing is based off of a Porsche 917. Yeah, but so I'm so yeah, but I can't do that because I use FBX game recorder, so I I can't exit the game or else my recording will be fucked up. Well, actually, I can you not know, wait. I think that I can pause, so I will just pause the recording and just come back. Well, fuck. Apparently, the it doesn't work. I don't remember exactly. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to go in blind. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is probably like. Maybe like a thing like this. Uh, cool. I'll make a cool little. Cool. I'll make a weird cool like that, and then I will build like this the entirety of the way through it, like that. Then I will do like that. I'll probably make the headlights there. Oh, I'll make the headlights inside of the uh, hood or something. I don't know. Like inside of the thing here. So, duct. I need to have some duct as a grill. So, yeah, and I also I recommend that you use duct as the grill. So actually I'm gonna do like this. 
breeze. Uh, duck looks very nice for a girl breeze. It's not too see-through and it's not too not see-through, so it's very nice. And also, what I recommend, um, when you make these small cars, the best steering to have, okay, is um, this type of steering, look. So, uh, I didn't actually make this steering, I took it from this car, from Big Set, uh, this type of steering, like, it, like this, because otherwise, as you saw from uh, the other, from the Sunbeam, my first mini car, um, it would hit on the sides, it would hit on the sides, uh, here, and there, and then it would, and then it wouldn't steer more, and it would be very bad steering, but, um, this guy made it so that, um, you don't need to worry about that, because, it's just going to be great, still, because, the steering, this type of steering makes it so that it turns from, it turns from this axis, from this axis on the tire. Like, it turns on this axis instead of this axis. And that makes it so that instead of um, turning le like this, it turns like this. Which is better because then it won't hit on the sides. Or it will still, but not as much. So it's really good. Okay. Actually, no, I'm probably and now back to this, but now actually I'm probably going to make it like this, so that it's like that, and then the lights are here. So yeah, now I need to light. And also, if you're gonna make like an old car, I recommend that if you want to make like bridges, like a Porsche 911 or something. Then I recommend that you use um, curves on the side here, that and then a long curve here, okay? And then um, it will slowly go out, and then you use uh, headlights, the vanilla headlights here, because it's, it's curved, so it will look really cool, because it will look like a bridge, like a Porsche 911, or, or a... Or like a or like a seven delay or something. So yeah. And now then, now I'm gonna make the steering. So I'm not gonna make this thing have a realistic engine because I because it's gonna take too too much time. So I'm just gonna do it like that. And because this thing is odd or yeah, because this thing is odd width, um, you need to do it like this. The other one was equal width, so you uh, could just place them right next to each other like that. But this thing is not, and yeah. But there is not really a problem, because it will work just the same. Okay, oh wait, no. wait, is it supposed to be like that? Yes, I do. Okay, I also need to get a pipe. Like that. So you do a bearing there, a bearing there, okay, and then you put a pe oh, you put a bearing there, then you put a pipe uh, that goes uh, towards the outer side of your car to the closest um, uh, side of the car to towards where the um, towards where the oh my god, T towards where the uh, wheel is supposed to point. Okay, that, and then this thing just points down after, afterwards, and then you put a bearing on that, then you put a straight, um, uh, then you put a straight, um, pipe, and actually that, that depends on how large your, uh, your, um, how, how large you want the car to be, like, except, um, yeah, and then you, Except, then you'll need to do like this, but uh, it would still work. And then, uh, you put like, you make it turn around here, and you put a bearing, and then you put another pipe that points outwards, the same as the wheel. And then you actually put, 
and then boom, now you got your skill, and then and you do the exact same for the other side, except you invert it, you mirror it on the other side, so this thing points towards that side, which is where the wheel is still supposed to point. Okay, just like that. Now, we got some cool steering. And when you connect it, the only bearings you want to rever reverse are, is this one and this one. So it's only the middle one here. But if you don't, um, this is going to happen. Yeah, not very cool. In it. Okay, but then you just reverse these and boom, you got your own cool steering. Cool boy steering. Oh yeah. Mate. Okay. So yeah. Um, and then, once you've done that, um, if you put the curve on the side, you should probably make the curve go all around the car, but like, go not only there, but like, go around the car instead of just staying there, because it doesn't look very nice or professional. We want this car to look professional. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, well, basically, so now that you've done that, also, um, if you want to, if you don't want to put an engine inside, okay, and you want it to look like there's something there but it's too dark, then um, you should paint the backside um, black, like this. And then it's going to look like that. And also the grill should be painted black, um, because a grill isn't white. Sometimes it is, but not on this car, at least. So yeah, and then the rear wheels, um, you is it, is really simple. You you can put, um, you you are allowed to put some um, suspension if you want. I said, if the car is smaller than this or needs to have like an openable trunk, kind of like uh, this thing or like. Uh, no. Or this thing, which the engine is in the back, then you want to be able to open it, and then you can't have a suspension. And also, or, okay, if it is like the, um, like the Sprite, this thing used to have suspension, okay, like right here, but this thing, um, it has pistons, okay, it has like, it has pistons here. So that when you open it, okay, it, it, it we don't need to have any more components that uh, push forward to o close the gap. We we don't need to have that because well the gap is always closed with pistons. But and I needed to remove the suspension because the suspension was here, okay. Um, and well here is the roof. So, I can't put that there, and I can't put it there, and I can't put it here or here. Also, because there's, um, a, a curve there. So, yeah. So, it used to be the first one to have it, but, uh, no. Now that crown goes to this car. The first mini car to have the suspension. So, and most of the mini cars don't have suspension in the front because suspension, even the short suspension, is too tall. Then I would actually need to, like, it, it's just impossible. Okay? I would need to do, like, some weird set and I would need to, um, make, like, a, a curve that goes down on the side and then up. And then a suspension can fit there, but that doesn't look very nice. And that's why I didn't add it. And this thing is also the fastest mini car that I made. It, like, it's also one of the fastest cars that I made right now because I don't make a lot of fast cars because I have no idea. But yeah, so I'm also gonna put suspension on this car because this car is simple and it does not need to have 
um, any kind of stuff. Doesn't need to have any kind of openable stuff because I'm not gonna put any openable stuff on it because I don't have enough time. Like, I do have enough time, but you're probably gonna be bored of, well, an hour. So it's probably not gonna take an hour because, oh my, oh, why am I putting bearings? Uh, okay, suspension. There we go. And I will put that there. And I will put this there. And I will put that there. And that there. And then this. And that. And then boom. We got some rear suspension that does not work because of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a concave corner. Concave. Okay? And I'm gonna take this flushed one. And I'm gonna put it here instead, okay? You can either use this, or you can use a, um, a surface plate that is on the outside. Except, I'm just gonna use this here now, because, why not? And, oh my god, I'm so stupid, I completely forgot. And I use this no end. <laughs> I just tried to drive it. So yeah, and, I'm gonna test the maximum travel. Which is not a lot, so I'm actually gonna use several plates, which is way more than that. So yeah. Uh, actually, I'm actually gonna put a block here that I'm gonna remove afterwards. So that it's way easier. To do like that. There we go. Okay. And now we just delete this. This. And then we do this as well. And then boom. You got some nice you got a nice center. You can do that with the front and also use normal steering by doing like that. And then you can remove these blocks and use normal steering. Except uh, I'm just gonna do like this because um well I don't need any of the space here. So yeah, I can just you know and it also looks nicer, for a small car it looks nicer to have uh, that stuff than, than the other set. Okay, still to solve. Yeah, um, and if you make mini cars out of metal, obviously it's going to be quite heavy, so you can't have a super weak engine. You know what, I'm actually going to put the engine in the back with the... oh my god. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm going to... Put the engine in the back, and I'm gonna, um, uh, because there's more space in the back. Engine. So this car is actually supposed to, like, like, this car is actually supposed to have the engine in the front, that's why this huge stick is pointing out, but, um, I'm just gonna put the engine in the rear because it's a lot simpler than um, not having the rear because there's way more space in the rear, so it becomes way easier uh, to place an engine there. Whereas here it's going to be hard and it's going to interfere with the steering. But anyway, look, and if you de did everything correctly, you got a first mini car, except we also. Need to put the rear lights, of course, so I'm just gonna put some simple red rear lights and paint them this color with this color looks very painted, so paint it this color, the second darkest. The darkest works as well, but the second darkest is the uh, nicest, I, I, I consider it's the nicest. And then you can put this instead of white, because white is very strong, and you can put this and it's kind of like white except softer, so it's nicer. And also, um, for the windshield, if you want to do the windshield, uh, you should use widgets, if I can find them. Uh, wait, there. So then you should use widgets and this thing. So you put the widgets in, like that, and then you put it like that. Okay, so two blocks tall, is the nicest I consider, or I consider is the nicest. And then you 
um, put it in here like that and then boom now you got a nice little windshield for your nice car boom look at that oh yeah um and if you want you can you can put the normal lights back here as well but i'm not gonna change that for now because well yeah and then um the last thing is bumpers well i don't think it's the last thing but yeah so bumpers there we go so then you put uh t blocks okay and then you do like that and like that so these bumpers that curve like that look nice as if the side is curved but mm, because it's like that now you got a front bumper and then you place the rear bumper as well there we go <coughs> okay and now you've got that done okay and now okay the last thing is the doors so the doors you should do like this okay so yeah you can make them like that if you want to okay oof, i just deleted this thing but yeah Ooh. that's good but you can if you want to you could um oh i completely forgot about that but okay so, but if you wanted to um you could make it like that, and I'm probably going to do that, because why not? But, sometimes the best way is to put the curve directly here, and then put uh, duct corners here, because uh, then the door probably won't get stuck, because from my past experiences, okay, uh, the doors got stuck, uh, which is not nice. So, yeah. And then, um, I recommend using the paddle latch switch, because I personally think it looks, it looks the nicest with these tiny cards, so, yeah. Uh, controller, and then we're gonna put controllers, and we can actually use the AC controllers for a less hidden controller that is there, that is there. That. and then we make this thing go 75 degrees and this thing as well because those don't open 90 degrees they don't open very widely they open like that so yeah and now we got some switches okay and sometimes it won't work so i recommend that you do like this and you use the concave corner here because it's the easiest way to get it working okay no okay that sucks i made it completely wrong like that so sometimes it won't work but hey that's a stupid scrap mechanic physics yeah you you can also if you want you can change the place of the paddle latch switch to um to a bit further in okay to like there or something uh, and then it'll be a whole lot easier because well it's just easier because you won't need to get bothered by the stupid fucking but you don't need to get bothered by anything in that really because as you can see that works just fine and now it closes correctly it actually closes yeah um and then the last play the last thing okay is painting okay and well that's really simple you just need to choose a color for this thing i'm just gonna point uh choose maybe blue okay and then you just do like this you just paint it blue and then i recommend that you paint um the the wheels 
uh, black because well it's the best color for a real eye person looking then you just paint everything and th painting this is optional you don't need to paint that I'm not gonna paint that but you can do whatever you want you can paint your car whatever color you so choose it's your car not mine I just show you how to make the car uh, so yeah and you shouldn't paint the headlight because otherwise the um, because then you won't get the actual color like you won't get it won't be uh, the color that you want it to be oh yeah and I forgot that okay and then you just paint everything literally everything except for the lights and the bumper the bumper is supposed to be a coke bumper and stuff but yeah look now if you follow the follow the instructions the 31 minute instructions um you will know how to make uh, a, a car which is very nice a mini car by the way and also if you want to you could put more seats in the back here kind of like this so yeah but I'm not gonna do that because I don't have enough of this with the cars a little bit too short so you can make it slightly longer and um well put seats in the back but yeah and also most of these mini cars don't have a roof and neither do they have a rear seat and this thing is quite large for a mini car but like really the best mini car that i have is the sunbeam and um um, and uh, uh, the Cameron Challenger, and also I also have this Charger, which is the first version, which is uh, not pop up headlight, but yeah, so these are the best examples for um, you know, for the for mini cars because. Like, this thing is very not detailed because I made it swiftly for this, um, tutorial, but yeah. So, I hope you had a fantastic summer, and I s I'll see you in the next one. Bye!